beautiful people you are welcome back to summer sizzles if it's your first time stopping to check summer sizzles you are welcome yes my name is summer and you're welcome to summer sizzles to my returning subscribers thank you all so much for tuning in thank you for the support thank you for your lovely comments you are all amazing thank you so much guys so let's go today we are cooking it's gonna be a cooking video yes so we're making Ayamashi sauce, aka green stew or the green sauce. So, guys, I'm gonna be taking you guys along how I've made my version of Ayamashi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and drop your comment in the comment section below. Okay, guys, you know how we'll do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy watching and let's get into the cooking. Hi guys, so what I'll be doing here is just preparing the peppers for blending. So I'll be blending with some onions and some scotch bonnet peppers. So feel free to use your garlic and ginger. I haven't got at the minute at home, so I'm just making do with what I've got. So guys, I'll just be blending this, repeating the process until it's all ready to cook or to steam down, whatever. So that's it guys in the pot, that's the steaming process and this is it when it was all ready. So guys, I've got my, I've got my green peppers in the bowl. So I've got my six boiled large eggs, which is very, very important for this recipe. So I've got um, one, one sliced onion and I've got half a large onion as well. So I've also got, um, I've sort of substituted actually, um, a roux for that prawn. So in this bowl, I've got my shaki, goat's meat, and beef fried, cooked and fried. So I've got my smoked turkey, which is very important for this recipe. Also, I've got palm oil at the back, some salt to taste, and some maggi cubes. So in this bowl, I've got my cow food and cow skin as well. So I've just went ahead to put some oil in the pot. So I'll be dropping the onion into the pot and allowing it to you know do the process then that's the onion you can see it's dark and black apparently this does magic guys this process does magic if you always bleaching palm oil you need to try it so guys i'll be going ahead to add the oil that i fried my my beef with so i'll be adding the oil into the into the palm oil bleach and i'll be adding a little bit of curry powders into the oil so i'll be going ahead to fry my onions to put in my onions and the prawns together to release their flavors into the oil so then i'll be covering for five minutes i'll be covering for five minutes you know for them to really release the the flavors into the oil and that's it when after five minutes and you can as you can see how it's looking so guys i'm just going ahead at this point literally to add the peppers because it, everything is ready all i'm just doing is combining in batches if you understand what i mean so that's all i'm I'll just be doing in this process so it's straightforward and very easy so guys i'll just be putting these peppers in all through and combine properly a stir properly and i'm going to be covering for some minutes after adding the cow foot so after this point, I'm just going to be adding the cow food because it's, a, it's, it's cooked, but it's not 100% soft. So I'm going to be adding some seasoning cubes, some salt to taste, and then the cow food. So feel free to add whatever amount of seasoning cubes you want, you use, or salt, whatever. So that's all I've just added. I think I've added like a, 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 a teaspoon of salt because i don't really do salt that much yeah so guys i'll just be introducing now the cow foot that is nearly ready so for them to get to know themselves you know let them get to meet and greet oh how are you cow foot oh my name is cow foot my name is green sauce how are you doing so they need to get to know themselves so at this point you need to combine 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 properly as you're combining make sure guys that your cooker is on a low to medium heat because you do not want this to burn because they're ready all you're doing is just combining in batches so you need to make sure it's on low to medium heat guys okay to avoid it burning yeah so after combining so i'm just going to be covering it for like 
10 to 15 minutes yeah so i'll be covering it for 10 to 15 minutes and then you can see as you can see it's get it you know it's you can see that it's it's nearly ready but no 100 percent ready so at this point this is when i'll be introducing the 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 smoked turkey because it doesn't take long to cook yes yeah, so i've been introducing the smoked turkey and also going on ahead to introduce the my fried beef goat's meat and shaki so at this minute guys all you want to do is stir 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 make them combine let them meet themselves make sure they rub you know make sure the sauce rubs each and every one of the meats guys okay so after stirring properly all you need to do is to cover for like five ten minutes and this is it guys as you can see through the pot the oil has started to float at the top this is when you know your ayamashi it's ready so at this minute i'll just be introducing the eggs into the sauce you know to make the sauce penetrate the egg if you understand what i mean yeah <laughs> this is what i'm going to be doing at this stage guys so i'm just going after after putting the eggs i'm going to be using my spatula gently to push the egg into the sauce you know the taste honestly it's just out of this world you know that taste of the sauce penetrating the egg don't even go there <laughs> so guys this is what i'm just doing at this stage and i'll be going ahead to cover for a bit i think for like five minutes yeah so i'll be covering for like five five to ten minutes i would say you leave for at least five to ten minutes and then your ayamashi is ready this is it guys this is the ayamashi ready 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 looking beautiful so, so and i went ahead to serve it with some rice all plated up thank you so much for watching guys do not forget to give it a thumbs up i'll see you in my next one